Hello there, YouTube. Is I the one and the only me? Um, I've been busy the past uh, good while. Exams for college, work, life in general. Um, but I'm here today to play for you guys Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. It's a uh, sort of Mountain Blade style game. It a lot of its mechanics are very similar, but it's a uh, it's an early access game, so it's not fully done and all that. There's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of roadmap updates from the devs. Devs are very uh, interactive with the community um, and has good scores on Steam. So I picked this up. Um, yeah, well, I don't know there really isn't a full in-depth load game feature, so you can only have one save, so I'm not gonna really start a new game just for YouTube, but I already have one going. Um, there's a number of different factions, and you, at the very start, you create your own as well. You can have your own custom flags, just like, just like in other games, or just like in Mountain Blade. Um, these are the different factions. I can tell you that this is basically the terrorists of the faction. They they're always aggro to everybody, and they always hate you. You're they're usually the first guys you want to take out before you move on to the, everybody else. Plus, they're in a usually at some point in the day a game. Somebody, some other faction is going to hit one of their villages, so that's going to make them a lot, a lot weaker than than normal. So we're we're over by their last village here. I'm not sure what happens when I take it. I'm hoping that they don't regenerate their soldiers anymore, and I'm sure they won't have income anymore. So I. Hopefully they just absolve. I doubt that, but hopefully at that point they just can't keep the keep the resources coming in to have soldiers. So I don't have to worry about them attacking me every every now and then. So I'm just gonna attack their place first. I'm gonna make sure to have everybody happy because you wanna. When going in here, you want to make sure all your guys are happy. And with and with this, I might bring in my inventory a little bit later into the battle because I don't I don't want to ruin their morale. Their morale lowers the longer the battle goes on, the longer they're in the battle. So it's I'm gonna maybe bring out one group of soldiers, but it's gonna be mainly my uh, all of my arm. My armored forces going into battle. I don't want to. I don't want to lose them in the middle battle. I've. I've actually discovered that with taking the first base because it went down from a hundred to th hundred something to seventy, and that's when I decided to go in, and I lost all my infantry because their morale quickly dropped. So I. I theorize that it's basically the longer they're in the battle, the more morale loss they get. So it's kind of not too bad per se, but it's not it's not favorable to have them lose their morale. There's actually usually music in this game, but I turn it down because I don't know how, uh, if it's copyrighted or not. It probably isn't, but I'll, f I'll find out. Just wanted to do this because I was going to do this battle anyways. And yeah, um, I got busy the last this month. It 
to the point that I've passed out. I get home, go to bed, and then I just pass out from how I how tired I was. I'm a little better now, but still not great. Alright, let's get these guys over on to the mountain here. I'm trying to decide. Let's let's try getting this guy over here. Um I don't think they're particularly good with pathing among on mountains and the pathing on the vehicles are pretty bad, but it's it's still not overly bad. But yeah. Hang on. Oh, that doesn't save us, does it? Uh... I guess that doesn't save us from the sound. I probably should just let it go. Yeah, they have. They're really noisy. Just gonna let them open up the battle. Let them go and get things done. Unfortunately, that guy's stuck on the, uh, on there. So let's try to help him out. Sometimes you can move them. Alright, let's... God, that's loud. I'm gonna check real quick if there is a different setting for sound. Uh, there's not. Well, dang. Alright. Sorry about this. Alright, let's try doing it this way. Bring this person over here. Let's get them going. Yeah, that guy's pathing is not great. I probably shouldn't have tried moving him over the mountain. I'll have to worry about him later. 
He's not. All right, he's actually stuck. I gotta go to see if I can help him move. Because it can get stuck on a lot of things on this map. Of course. Let's see. No, not sticky keys. <laughs> All right, let's... All right, will that fix its bathing? See if I can give it a push. Damn this freaking vehicle. No, I don't want to leave the battle. Come on. Oh, sweet. They're just going to get new reinforcements anyways, but sweet. Come on, man. See if that helps it out. Probably did. Uh, not yet. One more, I believe. Yeah, one more. I have to lose one more guy to uh, either by death or by getting wounded. It's calling nine more guys. All right. Seem to be not going to finish that sentence. And I didn't know this before, but uh these things can explode. It actually uh <laughs> good thing I saved uh before doing this. Can't really choose to have an Iron Man save, but um, good thing I saved before doing this, because I didn't know they can blow up and then, uh, damage your teammates. Her morale's okay. Oh, shit. Not, not exactly what I wanted, um...
not not really what I was hoping for. Forward to. But at least at least I didn't lose anybody else. It'll be expensive replacing that, but probably gonna have done more damage to me than uh going after these after this uh place. But things are Things might do okay. Shit. Oh. Alright, let's charge in. Damn it. Now it's going to be a really expensive victory here. Now, a really, really expensive victory. Probably not even worth it, but I'll recover it. There's a lot of missions to easily get the money back. But we gotta finish them up before this time runs out. Shit. Well, guess we're auto-resolving this anyways. Oof, more vic to casualties. All right. Yeah, that was a that was a costly victory right there. I hope it. I hope it'll have been worth it. We this better have wiped down a good chunk of them. Or hopefully it annihilates the faction. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I need to... I need to restructure these squads. Because I'm going to be donating them to the... Uh, this here. To defend. I wouldn't want to get rid of these guys, but I need to, I need to go around and rebuild stuff. Yeah, that was, that was really costly. I lost two vehicles. Three. No, it was two. No. You should. Can't even remember. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna rename this to Dubno Alpha Squad. Dubno Defense. Dubno Defense Alpha Squad. Uh, fill this. No. Dubno Defense Bravo Squad. Let's put my general person in here, so I don't have to worry about placing her out somewhere that she shouldn't be placed. Uh, dub no defense, Charlie Squan. Alright, let's actually go into... Let's build stuff. Factory, let's just build it all. 
I'm keeping this anyways. Uh, Garrison, dub no alpha, dub no bravo. Let's change this to change the icon to this guy. Then Garrison. And then let's create a new squad. And then whatever I've left over, I keep. Dub no Delta squad. Dub no defense Delta squad. So put this guy here. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. I don't think I have any other medics. Scow, this gal, this gal, and then change the squad icon to that guy, and then deposit him into here, and then I can put in four more. So let's let's hire some mercenaries. And only take the uh, veteran mercenary part. And just dump them in here. Alright. So we'll go back to my party. I don't have a lot of guys, so let's... Because I have this guy here. Let's put this guy here. And then let's split up these guys here. Get the higher ranking guy. Um, let's get some new recruits. Oh, shit. Well, I guess that's going to be the result. So we're going to absorb these two, guys, these two squads into the main groups here. And I want a good blend, so we're gonna we're gonna go over here and try to see if I can get some different guys. All right, here we go. FCA, FCA, and let's let's mix these guys up in here. I have a bunch of extra guns in here, but. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna be selling them. I mean, you can also override the equipment here that they have, but I'm not gonna do that exactly. So let's see, let's add two of these guys in here. Two of these guys in here. Three of these guys in here. We're gonna have much more squads in here around here. All right. A bunch of rookie guys blended in with some veterans. Delta Squad. All right. Well, I guess I actually did that by mistake. Uh, and then Echo Squad. I'll have to worry about fixing up my situation with my cars after getting more money. That might require me doing some bounties of giving up some of my guys. But that, that would be fine. 
I need to recover my losses. Uh, contact board. Do I have four more otters? I might have four more otters. I only have two. I have a bunch of bandits though, so if they have a, anything for... Do I have a fluter though? Okay, I have enough. Uh, we're all I'll go searching around for uh, the mission, but the most lucrative mission in terms of money making is training units, and most of the time it's basically just the freedom fighters. The skill trees aren't long, so you don't have to really worry about having to deal with that, but yeah, it's it's not overly bad. Alright. Let's see if I'm lucky and if it's no, I don't I don't gamble. Alright. Nothing really here, but I probably should sell this stuff. Too much. I want to get rid of a lot of this. I just don't want to really send this to the grave. Uh, trying to decide if I want to outfit some of these guys with some of these weapons. I don't. I don't really know though. I don't know if it's something that I should do or not. I know if you want to customize your army like heck, you could, but I'm going to see some of these guys. I know these guys definitely, I don't have to worry about them with pistols for a long time, but you know that it's going to be a problem for a little bit. I'm not a big fan of shotguns, so I'm going to swap that out for him. Guess that. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll sell the rest to this guy. Got 23,000. It's not gonna. That battle did not cover the cost, but it's gonna be more about invest in terms of investment. There, It's gonna. Help me out. I'll have I'll have a steady income that I can depend on, and it'll allow me to recover my losses, and then I could build up again. All I have to f really focus on is making sure to defend from the bandits. I do need to recover quickly because it, otherwise I'm going to be screwed over when they try to retake one of these areas. So I gotta find a. Yeah, they're traveling to Dubno. They're probably gonna try to go for it. A lot of them are traveling to Dubno. Because unfortunately, for whatever reason, you, as a player, I can't play place more than 40 guys into the uh, into it. So I can't really do much to try to further defend it. Can't They don't allow you to place vehicles. Yeah, I thought someone was going to attack somewhere. I actually had a feeling it was going to be that. I'm probably going to do that, and let's see. He's badly wounded. Though, they'll prob I'll probably be quickly training them up again. Okay. I need to pick up another SG-80 armored car. If 
I can before I go back to Gorinka, which is right here. Obviously, probably either bandits or something. I I hope it's just more of the uh, these guys because the more you kill them at this point, I believe they'll probably just disappear completely. But I'm not I'm not sure. I think that's my vehicle. No, my vehicle was the SG80. Yeah, I, I had a feeling it was, also wasn't, but. Vans. I gotta make sure to do it before it turns dark, because otherwise I'm gonna have a fun time. And I'm not sure if I'm, if I should have just left wounded people in there. I don't know if they actually recover being while being garrisoned or not. Let me try Zinkov before I rush back down here. Because I need another uh, APC. Though you can't really use an ar armored personnel carrier. Or might just grab that though I I'll just I'll just go into battle. I was hoping to find uh another one of these guys right here. But that'll probably just take a bit. It might actually be here or at the other place. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be the uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe out these guys over here before, uh, before dealing with that because I wanna try to level some of these guys up. I don't want them being under level for it. And I'm gonna take a defensive posturing here. Is there. We're off to the distance here, and I'm not going to be dealing with any of that, of trying to follow them. Okay, a lot bigger room to spawn in. I like field battle battles because you can easily decide how the battle goes based on how you posture on the map. Same thing, uh, you can do that with, uh, in-game, in, uh, sieges, or, uh, attacking downs, but I feel like you get better control with terms of vehicles and, and towns. And it's not, it's hard to move your armored units through towns, which makes sense. They're urban environments, or relatively urban environments. But still, it's... I figured it is meant to be difficult to move units around. So hopefully they all do well here. I got myself set up here to be defensively securing this area. AOE, anti-personnel with occasional area AOE. Uh, they're actually pretty good at going against armored vehicles, but I don't know if they're if they do well against uh, light tanks.
Yeah, unfortunately, there's spread with this that, uh, I don't know if, it, if there's a logical spread to it or if it was just... Alright, maybe try to see if I can flank around here. Though it's not, uh, it's not good to be, uh, right out in the open like this. I'm gonna be in the, uh, forest tree line for cover, because your, your guys will actually, uh, take cover behind things. They'll crouch behind things, if there's anything crouched behind, but they'll just go prone when they're out in the open. Which actually makes it really difficult to hit the enemy. Oh, that's a TB. Yeah. I lost the militia, man. Alright. Oh, I've ranked up my guys a few, a little bit. And I've imprisoned another man, and I think I have enough for that one guy, that one town, for the quest, but not sure. But I want to get rid of my inventory real quick, and upgrade my everybody here for this upcoming battle. Uh, make sure that, well, I'm not sure exactly the purpose of the medic yet. I don't know how it works in game, but I like to think that it works right now. But I'm not sure if it does. Which is the big problem at the moment, because I don't know if I should be recruiting her or, or upgrading her to a medic or just upgrading them to a veteran version of the Freedom Fighter. I'm not sure, but... I think it was... A... Militiaman that died here. For the squad, so... I'll do... Replace that Militiaman. Can't repair the vehicles, though I can upgrade these guys to veteran freedom guards. Alright, well, let's get to here. Let's sell this crap and get going back and deal with those guys that are attacking. So I'll keep that because I want to replace some of the uh, clothing items. I want to. I should. I want to make sure that their uniforms match. Don't need to worry about water. 
not I'm not sure if I used a grenade or not. No. Oh, I do need to get ammo. I'm definitely gonna lose guys, but hopefully this does more damage to them though, because they can't I don't know if they can recover from it or not. I'm not sure if they can when they don't have cities. If they can't, then lucky me, then I don't have to worry about them as much. But if they can, then the, going for that city was a mistake. Because the whole point was to prevent any future reinforcements to them. So he, um, I guess, I guess I'm gonna show you defending a your settlement as well. So all your guys that you have garrisoned will spawn into the map. Um, but during the starting phase, what you're doing is just spawning in your own guys from your personal force. So I think, I think actually the guys that you place into the garrison are basically just frozen in time. So I think you need to swap out your guys in the garrison to let them heal. Because I haven't seen injured units uh, in this city heal at all. And since I know they're going to be using armored, i got to make sure to set up my own armor units up first. I'm not sure how strong they're going to go for the right side. But I know left side, the AI doesn't usually push as hard with. Because I've defended this location many times before. Uh, move Alpha Squad there. Let's get these higher leveled squads closer towards the front, but not too close to the front. Uh, Charlie, I know, has a bunch of rookies, but I'm going to... I believe I'm going to send them over there. Uh, Delta. Send them over here, a little bit behind. Bravo squad, and then Elko squad. Ah, uh, will be sent over. Over here. They're a little less... In terms of size, but here we go. Oh. Get moving to the front lines because they're going to storm right through. Which makes me think sometimes that I should just go all AF ARF and just keep on recruiting machine gunners because... I have a feeling the uh, machine guns are OP, but I've been going with these guys for a while, so I want to keep the styles the same. That didn't do much. Alright, leveled up. Yeah, killing those cars will get you a lot of experience. And you could glit you there's not really anything stopping you from going through the windows. Though you can't really tell your guys to garrison these houses. Ow. It's making me think you can shoot through these uh buildings. So, yeah, that they usually always get one uh, vehicle stuck. Shit. I'm losing a lot of guys here. Alright, that's actually destroyed. 
No. All right, let's just get them charging. A lot of the infantry casualties you can easily recover. It's the it's the vehicle casualties. Losing your vehicles is what's more expensive. So gotta worry about that when you go into battle. You have to be careful with your resources, your armored capabilities. Alright, I believe the uh, last guy is over here in the... Uh... No. All right, there we go. Lost a bunch of guys garrisoned, but we still have the town. And they didn't get it back. I'm going to hope that they don't regain their units. <sighs> lost 10 guys in this town and lost a bunch of guys here. I really need to sell the... Uh, probably should. Really need to... Uh, Get rid of them. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what I should make these guys. These guys definitely veteran freedom guards. Uh, I need to do a whole recruitment loan. More recruitment. Let's see. How many guys do I need to sacrifice for it? Four. So I guess I'll do one from each. Uh, this guy... This guy. Uh, this guy. Uh, this guy. And then, yeah, that, that'll be it. So we'll we'll consolidate Echo Squad and put them into some of them into here. I'm thinking of maybe not making uh, more of those guys, but anyways, I should grab the garrison here and absorb and move some of them. So let's see, party, travel squad. Let's. Let's move some of these AT specialists into it. And a grenadier. And for fun's sake, let's drop the medic into here. And drop them back into here. You don't need to worry about their morale when they're in, uh, when they're in here, so don't worry about it. So Charlie Squad, they just need one guy. Uh, let's get a grenadier and put him into it. And Garrison Charlie Squad, the Delta Squad and mercenaries. Hmm. Let's fill up Delta Squad. Oh, a bunch of rookies. Oh. Grenadier. Juggernaut. AT Specialist. And Grenadier. And Veteran Freedom Guard. And Veteran Freedom Guard. Let's 
bring some of these guys into it. Right there. So let's let's give him that. Yeah, that should be good. Uh let's send him back into here. Oh, I guess I'll take one of the mercenaries. Probably and I'll probably just remove him. Alright, I need to consolidate these squads further because of that. Uh, so let's recruit another rookie group. Party. Militia squad. Let's move these guys out. Up here. Span squad. Let's move some of these guys in here. Let's see if there's uh here. I'm gonna be blending my forces with a mixture of FCA and free army now because I need more variety. Juggernaut and you as a grenadier and you as a grenadier and you as a veteran warrior and veteran freedom guard. Uh, AT special grenadier and grenadier. All right. Alright, this will do for now. I gotta upgrade my guy though. Get some leadership. Upgrade a saw rifle. And then. Maybe not leadership. Maybe I shouldn't have done leadership, but I'm almost close to maxing that out, so I'll keep on going that route. And do that. Let's see. So let's see him. Some of these guys in here. Uh, force camo. Force camo. Just tactical gray. Hmm. Well. How about that? Uh, Alright, he's good. His gear's alright. Oh, I think that's going to be it. I'm going to continue playing a little bit longer, recover my losses, and find out if if the faction disappears after having taken these two territories. See you guys later, man.